And now we have number six. And this week, for this project, we're using the we're using the same raw photographs that we used in number four, and I've added a few for you, a few extras in your pack. And here's one of them. And you can use whichever ones you want. I think that was the only one I added in this pack. And... <clears throat> The other thing that I did in 6B, oh, here's the other one. So you can use these however you want. Um, please um, tag me on those. I think that'd be fun for me to see. Anyway, um, what I did on number six that's a little bit different was that I did the first round... Oh, I only have one. I did version 6A in watercolor. And 6B, I took the same painting and did it with pastel on top. So I only have one painting. And so this would qualify as mixed media because I've used watercolor and pastel. So that is number six. Number six, I've used a similar, no, I didn't use a similar, I used a different composition, but did it in loose watercolor, a la Jean Haynes. If you don't know about her, look her up, she's fabulous. Um, I did this on the <clears throat> Cotty paper, and the link is in the project. I kept it very, very loose and tried to work in her style but i've got to tell you there's only one gene haynes here's the final version of what's this number six six a <clears throat> is my watercolor version and then six b i went in and put pastel soft pastel on top of the watercolor which made it into a mixed media And that's always fun, and it's a way to salvage something or kick it to the next level. And, <clears throat> of course, since I worked on the original, I only have the pastel version as an original, but there it is. So that is number six. I have added in these last two a uh, some other views of those Lily photographs I took. So you've got plenty of those. Now...